atmospheric pressure, its effects and isobars. We live at the bottom of an invisible sea of air called the atmosphere. The atmosphere is a mixture of gases which provides the raw materials for weather and sustains all forms of life on our planet. The earth is completely surrounded by air. Gravity pulls the molecules of air and other atmospheric gases downwards towards the ground, thus exerting pressure on the surface of the earth. In 1657, Evangelista Torricelli, a student of Galileo, discovered air pressure, that is, atmospheric pressure. It is the pressure at any point on the surface of the earth due to the weight of the column of air above that point. Evangelista Torricelli invented a method for measuring atmospheric pressure and also developed a barometer, an instrument used to measure atmospheric pressure is called a barometer. A glass tube of one meter was sealed at one end and completely filled with mercury. The open end was temporarily held closed. Then the tube was inverted and the end was immersed into a dish of mercury. When the opening was uncovered, the level of the mercury in the tube fell a few centimeters, but then remained fixed at a level of about 76 centimeters above the surface of the mercury in the dish. The pressure of the air on the surface of the mercury in the dish prevented all the mercury in the tube from flowing out. In other words, the atmospheric pressure balanced the column of mercury in the tube. When the air pressure increases or decreases, the mercury level rises and falls accordingly. The mercury barometer is a standard instrument for measuring atmospheric pressure. Pressure is read in inches or centimeters of mercury, a true measure of the height of the mercury column. Standard sea level pressure is 29.92 inches or 76 centimeters on the scale. Another pressure unit used by meteorologists in drawing weather charts is millibars or hectopascals. One bar is divided into 1000 millibars. One atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeters of mercury, that is 1013 millibars. The term high pressure denotes the state of the atmosphere when the barometer reads about 76 cm or more and the term low pressure denotes the state of atmosphere when the barometer reads about 74 cm or less. At sea level the barometer rarely falls below 71 cm or rises above 79 cm. Soon after the invention of the barometer the French mathematician Blaise Pascal took the barometer up a mountain and showed that air pressure decreases with height since the air gets thinner as you go higher. An aneroid barometer is also in use and rather is more practical to use than the barometer because it consists of a box and there is no mercury. Atmospheric pressure depends upon three main factors. The first factor is altitude as atmospheric pressure decreases with an increase in altitude. The reason is that air is compressible. As the Earth's gravity pulls air towards the ground, the lower layer is most greatly compressed. The decrease in pressure is about one centimeter of mercury for every 110 meters of ascent. The second factor that affects atmospheric pressure is the temperature. Atmospheric pressure decreases with an increase in temperature. When the temperature rises, air expands and the molecules of air move far apart. Air becomes less dense and hence exerts less pressure. 
Water vapor also affects atmospheric pressure. Moisture exerts less pressure than dry air. Moist air is lighter than dry air because water vapor displaces an equal volume of dry air and thus it always contains comparatively less nitrogen and oxygen than dry air and is lighter. Hence, it exerts less pressure. Air pressure or atmospheric pressure leaves its noticeable effects. Winds are caused due to a difference in air pressure. When warm air rises, it creates an area of low pressure. Eventually, the air cools and sinks towards the ground, forming areas of high pressure. Fluctuation in air pressure indicates weather changes. As air rises and creates an area of low pressure, water vapor in the air condenses and forms clouds. While the high pressure is normally associated with clear and sunny skies, for example, rapidly falling pressure indicates that a low pressure is approaching which may bring rain. Have you ever seen a weather map? There are curved lines running over continents and oceans. These lines are called isobars, which are imaginary lines joining all places with equal atmospheric pressure if these places were at sea level. Isobar means equal weight. When isobars are far apart, there is very little difference in atmospheric pressure and the weather is calm. And when they are close together, there is great difference in atmospheric pressure over a small area and the weather is stormy.